Hey everyone, it's Jen. I'm in the van and parked at a very fabulous Montana rest stop. It's pretty quiet here, but you might get some road noise. Just FYI, hopefully it doesn't disturb our experiment too much. Today, I'm going to attempt to bake on a butane stove with a skillet. I've heard it can be done. I've done a mild amount of research on this, so I guess we'll see in worst case scenario, since I am keeping it simple, I'm just making peanut butter cookies, so it's nothing too crazy. Me and my dog will just be really happy to crunch on some peanut butter later. So I'm told the only ingredients I need are some sugar, which I only have brown right now. I'm just kind of using what I got. I have baking soda, peanut butter, water, and some flour. So since I'm vegan, this recipe is a little bit weird for some. Use what you got if you want to experiment with this as well. You can totally use another recipe, but I'm just kind of yanking a vegan recipe off of the internet. So without further ado, uh, let's try. I'm going to grab that mixing bowl and let's go. We'll start with one cup of peanut butter and one cup of sugar, and you're going to mix that until it's nice and creamy. Then you'll add six tablespoons of water. The recipe actually calls for almond milk, but all I had was water, so we're gonna go with that. Then we're gonna add one cup of flour, and I don't know about anyone else, but every time I use flour, it just gets everywhere and makes such a nasty cleanup. I don't understand why. Now just one teaspoon of baking soda, and we're ready to start rolling. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure your mixture is nice and creamy. It's gonna be a little bit stiff now because of the flour. You're gonna roll that around into about an inch and a quarter balls like that. In the normal recipe, you would bake at 350 for about 10 minutes, but here we're just gonna grease up this pan and see what happens. Also, before you use any kind of fire or anything like that in a van, please make sure your windows are down. Your cat will thank you later. Popping on one cookie. Two, three, four. And I don't know why peanut butter cookies always look like this, but we're still gonna flatten them with the fork in a little crisscross pattern. And hopefully this helps them to bake a little bit. I don't know, I guess we'll find out. So now that our cookies are ready to bake, we are going to cover it with some tin foil. I think that this will help insulate the heat, but again, this is just my prediction. I have no idea if it's actually gonna work. Medium heat burns between 300 and 400 degrees. So I'm going to do some interval heating and keep it around a medium heat for a time while turning it off in between so as not to burn anything. And also I'm just probably gonna eat the rest of this cookie dough because I made an awful lot of it and who wants to waste stuff? Even Jack said he'd help. So I heated the stove on and off for about half an hour at medium heat. The cookies look okay, but I'm getting concerned because the bottom is getting a little bit burny and I don't want to burn them too much, so I'm going to take them off and just let them cool. I then decided to try the next batch, just wrapped in tin foil over the heat on the stove. I thought this might help insulate the heat a little bit better. Again, I'm just going to keep it on about medium heat, turning it on and off at about like three to five minute intervals. Again, I did this for about half an hour. This batch is definitely a little bit softer, but I'm gonna take them off anyway. Overall, the first method was probably the most effective, but the cookies are good. They're chewy and I can't complain. So if you ever wanna experiment this way, I recommend it. Just make sure you're staying safe and happy Lunasa, everyone.